6 o'clock. So far we've done four container movements. We took a load out to the grocery store distribution warehouse. Then we went across the street to our medical distribution warehouse and picked up an empty. Brought that back here to the shipping terminal. Picked up uh, LTL off of today's ship. Today is Thursday. That's when the big ship that we have service comes in. Took the LTL back to our terminal, put it on dock four. And then picked up a full 40 foot container going to our neighbor island. It's uh, headed to Kauai. So we just dropped that here in uh, Alpha 14. And now we're going to start up our fifth movement of the day. Usually 10 o'clock, fifth movement of the day. That's usually the, the halfway point in my mind. That's usually when I take a break and try to get caught up with all the paperwork. I'm pretty caught up. <laughs> paperwork is my nemesis. So next we're going to pick up a load of commodities and take it out to the big commodity, the sugar, the capital industrial area. Definitely what I would call a good run, so it gets us out of the town, get to go up on the freeway and use all the gears. better on this truck if you turn on the fast idle whenever you're idling. <laughs> That's usually the case with most of uh, vehicles. I know that was the case with tour buses. You definitely wanted to turn on that fast idle anytime you're parked or idling if you wanted the AC to work well.
plated tires sound like. That light is your turn signal, this is your brake light. All, both of them are marker lights. Turn signal, brake light. License plate light is not working, neither is that one. So we're gonna to try to fix those. Let's see how it goes. Alright, so this was just unplugged and we plugged it back in and then we fixed that one also. This is just too skinny for me to get in there, but let's see what check on the This uh, container is high, which means all the weight's on the landing gear. And commodities, usually that's like a laundry soap. So it can be pretty heavy. Again, too skinny for me to get in there, but the temporary safety check is good, the light's good. What does that feel like? Put your car on a level ground, put it in neutral, disengage the parking brake, and push your car for about a block. That's about how it feels. That's why I don't want to do it when I'm 65 and older. Give yourself a heart attack. This is why you should wear gloves too. This is why you should wear gloves. Spray a bottle with a little soapy water.
get it, then we'll make our way out to the Campbell Industrial Area. So we're a little over 48,000 pounds shipping weight. The tear weight of the tractor and the truck, I mean the tractor and the trailer, is about 22,000, so you add that to the shipping weight. So that's 40, did I say 48? 22, 70,000 gross. when you're under 70,000 the DO scale, DOT scale is not really interested in weighing you. So the way station light is on and blinking, which means they're open.
first light is a shopping area which is called uh, Capole Commons. It's kind of like the downtown area. A lot of big boxes. Costco, Home Depot, Target, Petco, the local newspapers, uh, printing presses are just ahead on the right. From here we make our way two, two, two and a half miles into the Campbell Industrial Area. The Campbell Industrial Area was originally like one mile by one mile and then over the years they've expanded it. Now it's more like two and a half miles by one and a half miles. The commodity distributor that we're headed to is in what I would call the geographic center of the old Campbell Industrial Area. Thank you. 
restaurants in the Campbell Industrial area, but there's lots of good food trucks. My favorite is Lottie's, which is right at the entrance to the H Bar plant. normally go for lunch? We're going wherever we find our stuff are eating food. <laughs> Do you go to Lani's often? Where's that? The lunch wagon down here? Not really. She's got good food. That's my favorite place. 27th. Okay. Idea. That's where I always go unless the line is too long, then I, then I go Do they have good food? Yeah. Girl? Right, right there, Lonnie's, yeah. That's where all the rubbish men go. Uh, I don't want to say with them. They already, go, they already know me as a dummy. <laughs> so, I'm gonna try them. so right next to the Madsen? Yeah, I did not go let them go. Is that our can too, or you know? I have no idea. Uh, I'll check. Uh, I'll check. Okay. Okay. Thank you.
this, if this container is on the community list and it's empty, then we'll go ahead and pick it up. We did eight container movements. We drove 140 miles and we'll be out of here by three o'clock. All in all, pretty good day. Nothing super exciting. Everything here on the, I did today, I've done hundreds, sometimes thousands of times. Well, that's what happens when you got 22 years driving on an island that only has, you know, so many miles you can go and only so many customers. But we have probably close to 200 customers and I'd say 20% of those customers provide 80% of the work. That's usually the case in most companies. So if you take 20 into 200, so there's like 40 customers that we go to pretty much on a daily basis. The rest the rest is the, the gravy, and that's usually the more exciting stuff, too. <laughs> that 20% that the, that the other 80% of the customers provide. But we're gonna head on home. We still got lots of leftovers. I got, um, I got these brats from uh, Costco with cheese and jalapeno. My wife would hate this stuff, but I got that with some um, sauerkraut. And that's what I'm craving right now. So I'm going to have that with the leftovers. The roasted vegetables and the salad and the rice. And that's what I'm going to have for dinner. My wife is probably going to have some leftover um, uh, tofu shrimp stir fry that I made a while back. So she'll eat something different because she doesn't like to eat the meat. But that's her, <laughs> her loss. That is it for today. It's been a hot day. It went up to 86 today. And I'm sweating already because I turned the AC off. So that's it for today. We'll be back tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Aloha.